Hey guys, it's Dr. Vanessa with Sealark Chiropractic, and today I'm going to show you the pigeon pose. It's a great way to stretch your hips and your hip flexors. Uh, if you have limited hip mobility or flexibility, a lot of times that can cause compensations in the low back and low back pain. So when I have people with low back pain, we always work on our hip flexibility. For this one, it's going to be on the ground. So you're going to start on all fours here, and you're just going to take one leg and bring it in front and bring your foot out to the side like that. And then you're going to take this leg and drive it backwards. So you're going to go here. This leg, you don't have to be 90 degrees. You can just get it to wherever you can get it. And then eventually you'll work your way out a little bit more. You're here, you wanna make sure that you stay upright. A lot of people will kinda of sink to the side. But you wanna keep it, your hips pointing straight ahead. So you're here, you can try to come on up. So this is gonna be stretching the hip on this side and it stretches the hip flexor through here. So you can try to hold this for 30 seconds or for however long it feels good. Make sure you keep your spine straight. You don't want to slouch, slouch into it. So keep upright. You can hold it here, and then you can work your way down, maybe to your elbows, maybe eventually down to your forehead. And you get a really good deep stretch in that hip. And of course, if there's pain, numbness, tingling, go ahead and stop. And we always do both sides. So again, you bring the leg knee forward, bring the foot out to the side, here. Take the other leg, drive it backwards. And then you can hold here. Try to work your way up a little bit. Make sure you're here and not slouch into the side. You can go here. Another thing you can do if you're up really high, you can get like a blanket or a pillow and stick it there just to give you a little bit of support while you're feeling the stretch. So you're here, spine straight, you wanna stay straight, and then eventually you work your way down, elbows, and all the way to the floor. So go ahead and give that one a try. If you can't make it here, you can also just go on your back and bring your ankle to your knee, and that's gonna stretch this side and pull towards you. You'll still get a good stretch in your hip here, but it won't be as intense if you can't get into the pigeon pose. There, other side here. One arm goes through, the other arm goes around, and you just pull towards you. And that's a great way to loosen up your hips and your glutes. So go ahead and give that a try. And if you found this useful, give me a comment, a like, a share, and have a great day.